Good day, YouTubers. Welcome to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today we're going to show you how to wire up a single pole switch. Now we know it's a single pole switch because it has two copper screws. Not to be confused with our green ground screw. Now these copper screws, before we begin, should be raised or loosened as much as possible without removing them from the device. They're not supposed to come off this device. Just unwound enough that they get snug. And once they're loose, with your green Robertson screw, the small square, we're done with this for a moment. In your box, most likely you will have a feed wire with your power coming in and a wire that goes to your light. And inside, after you have bonded your ground conductors to the back of the box, which I've already done, and making your joint in your neutral, which is mandatory as of the 2018 codebook, you must have a neutral conductor in a manual controlled luminaire device box, which this is about to become. Then all you have left is your two black wires and your ground. Now one of these black wires is gonna bring power into your switch and the other black wire is going to send power to your light. So, I've already stripped these about this much and I decided it was about that much based on the strip gauge on the back of this switch. Now you can see a little channel there. You're supposed to line up the copper with that channel to make the right amount of strip. Now. I like to strip a little more. I think it helps in making a good connection on these screws, but that's a guideline. Once your wires are stripped with the same tool that you stripped them, you're gonna use this little hole here and you're gonna put them in the back of the hole just a little bit and you're gonna rotate it in and create a hook. And you're gonna do that on all three of these, both black ones, and your ground, now this ground, needs to have already hit the screw on the back of your box, which mine has, before it hits the green screw on your switch device. Now in good practice, we do the ground connection first. Notice that I'm putting this around clockwise, around the screw, which is the same way that we tighten my little hook here. As we tighten clockwise, we're going to pull this in nice and tight underneath. And it should look like so when you're done. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of this with our black wires. We're going to ensure that they're hooking clockwise, like so, around this screw. And we're going to keep a bit of pressure on it with our fingers here as we tighten it clockwise, pulling that hook nice and tight underneath. Should look like so when you're done. And the exact same on this side, clockwise around the screw. Keep a bit of pressure on it with your thumb and tighten that in. Pulling the hook nice and tight underneath. When you're done, it should look like this. Now, we don't want too much copper exposed here, but we also don't want to pinch the insulation with our screw. So just a little bit, enough to cover that plate all the way around. You'll notice my conductors are coming in through the little channels on the bottom. That's exactly what we want to see. And that's it. You've wired a single pole switch. Now the way to tell which way is on is the top left here, you'll see top. That's how you know this is the top side so that when you press it, it actually turns on, and the bottom, it turns off. Now, you're going to tuck all these wires nicely inside this box when you close it, being very careful not to touch the exposed copper to any of these exposed screws. And once you have that all tucked in, you're going to line up the screws on the top and the bottom with this hole and this hole, and that is how your device fits on to your box like so. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any suggestions of videos you want to see in the future.